all right guys i'm um, still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics wherever you are happy weekend to you greetings to you today is saturday beautiful saturday afternoon 17 day in the month of june 2023 all right, I don't know where to start, but uh, let me quickly begin from somewhere because I will allow you to listen to uh, the counsel to Atiku Abubakar and PDP. That is um, Chris Uche. You know, some people is of opinion that um, we are we are already familiar with the petition of Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar, so I am not going into details of that. So many people is of opinion that with what is going on, I think chairman supposed to, you know, to be in jail by now. I'm talking about the process, the outcome of February 25 election after uh, taxpayers' money was used, okay, the confidence, the money the government spent to conduct uh, February 25 election and the outcome, what people saw. I mean, there, there should be an explanation to that effect, like seriously. Okay, Peter Obi and uh, Mati Kwaubaka are still bringing up evidence. Remember I told you guys... I told you guys um, that Peter Obi had confirmed that about 18,088 polling unit result were blood. Now, if you have um, 18,088 polling unit blood result, then how did you, you know, come up with some the figure you that um, you know that declared somebody a winner of that particular election? How did you come up with such figure? Okay, so um, let me allow you to listen to um, the council to. Atiku Abubakar and PDP, Chris Uche, okay, the video evidence, not only um, Peter Obi has been bringing up some evidence, even PDP themselves, just to prove a point that February 25 election was nothing but a sham, you understand? Uh, let me not bore you too much, listen to what um, Chris Uche have to say about the video evidence and the outcome, it did not tally, you understand? I think chairman had already confirmed and promised that what the the real time result? What is there on the IREF portal have to tally with you know the real election? Then if you do not tally, how did you declare somebody winner of election? If you do not tally, that means something is wrong somewhere. You should do something about it. Listen to what Chris Uche have to say. You see, our witness is a very experienced person, a legislator, and who played a key role in the legislation which is the subject matter of this case and you see how we gave evidence of the innovation by the new electoral act which is this aspect of electronic transmission of results and that is the bone of contention and once as he said there is no compliance with that provision Apparently, even as you saw in the videos played in court by the statement by the chairman of FINEC himself, it affects the transparency because that innovation is to ensure transparency.